Hi Aries, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart, anywhere you have Aries. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at um, your person. Let's see what is their current energy right now towards you. What is this person's current energy towards Aries spirit? What is this person's current energy towards towards Aries. The person Aries is currently connecting to and dealing with in love. I think you spirit. Ooh, strength. Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. Also Virgo. All right, so their current energy towards you, they're, def they're definitely holding back from communicating with you, Aries. We do have strength, which is all about resistance, and ace of swords, which is um, communication. I feel like this person wants to initiate um, communication with you, but they're holding back with the strength card. It does look like they want to apologize to you about something, Aries, or make something right with you with the page of pentacles here. All right, let me clarify that energy. All right, Spirit, let's clarify this energy um, in regards to this person's energy towards Aries. Why is this person's energy towards Aries the strength card? Why is this person's current energy towards Aries the strength card? The Queen of Cups. So this person does have a lot of love for you, Aries, with the Queen of Cups here. Also, the, also the Strength card is the card of um, love. You know, it represents the heart. So we have two cards that represent love and heart. This looks like someone who's suffering in silence. They don't want you to know that they have feelings for you, that they're thinking about you, that they miss you, that they feel sorry about something. Because they do feel sorry about something, and I feel like they want to tell you about that. They want to tell you that they feel sorry about something, but they're not doing it. They're keeping it to them. They're keeping it to themselves. This is a guilty energy. I'm, I can definitely feel the guilt in this person's energy. <clears throat> Sorry, that was my chair. I'll take a look at that strength card again, Spirit. Let me see if there's anything else there. Tell me more about the strength card in regards to this person's current energy towards Aries. The chariot card, okay. Some of you are dealing with a cancer. Yeah, they're definitely acting like um, like nothing is bothering them, you know? They're acting like they don't care. They're acting like nothing's bothering them, like they're not being affected. They're, they're putting on a, a disguise here for you. They're acting detached. They're acting like their emotions are not involved here. Hmm. Like their emotions are not being triggered when in reality um, they are being triggered. Hmm. They're putting on a brave face, a poker face. All right, tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles in this person's en current energy towards Aries? Oh, 
Here we go again, page of pentacles twice. Hmm. Tell me more about the page of pentacles. The hangman. Yeah, they're waiting here with the hangman. I feel like this person is waiting to I feel like they're waiting for the right time to extend themselves out to you. Hmm. But I feel like I feel like they um stop themselves, you know, every time they think about coming towards you to apologize, to make things right with you, they stop themselves. They keep telling themselves, "Oh no, I'll do it later." You know, "I'll do it later. It's not the right time. I'll just wait a little bit more." You know? But they keep saying that. It's never the right time. They keep saying, I'll just wait for a better time. But it's never the, the better time never shows up, you know. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords, this person's current energy towards Aries? Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. They feel left out in the cold. They feel abandoned, rejected. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords in regards to this person. The Queen of Wands. Okay, so there's a lot of ego with this person. We have the Strength card, the Chariot card, and now we have the Queen of Wands. So there's pride and there's ego here. That's definitely stopping this person from um, communicating with you. Like I said, every, every time they, they think they're going to do it, they think they're going to reach out now, they change their mind or they stop themselves. This, this person's ego is bruised. You bruise their ego with the Five of Pentacles. You know, nobody throws this person out in the cold and you did it, you know? That's how this person feels. Like nobody, nobody turns their back, their back to me. Nobody rejects me. Nobody says no to me. And you, Aries, did it, you know? And they're not used to that. Let me make sure I'm saying the right thing there. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Let me just verify that. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands and this person's energy. Three of Swords. Yeah, they're definitely wounded. They're heartbroken. They're hurt. Like I said, their ego is bruised. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Let me see what I want to look at. Let me just take a look at their intentions. Spirit angels and guys, what are this person's intentions currently with Aries? What are this person's current intentions with Aries, please? Hmm. Their intentions, the tower, the three of wands, oh, and the page of wands. Okay, so, hmm. so the tower, there was some sort of big ending here between you and this person. It looks ugly. It looks like there was an ugly ending, an ugly separation. Hmm. But this person has been thinking about you a lot with the Three of Wands. They've been thinking about this ending that happened between you two or the separation that happened between you two. Um, they've been thinking about it from a distance. They've been keeping their distance and thinking about you and this ending. Hmm. So they definitely do want to send you a message with the Page of Wands. They definitely want to communicate with you. All right, let me clarify these intentions. Look at the world card here. World is at the bottom of the deck. What did you do, Aries? It feels like you really walked out on this person, to be honest. 
And it feels like that. Let me clarify um, the Page of Wands spirit in regards to this person's intentions currently with Aries. Why is the Page of Wands here in regards to their intentions with Aries currently? Hmm. Yeah, this person's not taking responsibility, Aries. That's what I'm seeing here. Because they want to come towards you as the Page of Wands, but they're showing up as the Queen of Wands, which means that this person doesn't want to take responsibility. They don't want to admit their faults. They don't want to admit, admit their mistakes. Hmm. It's like they want to bypass having to take responsibility. They want to bypass that. They want to get back together with you, but they want to bypass um, having to take responsibility for their actions. I feel like this person's intimidated by intimidated by you, Aries. This person knows that you're not going to make it easy on them. They know, and I feel like that's also why they're holding back. Because they know you're not going to um, cut them cut them some slack, you know? Tell me about the Page of Wands and this person's intentions with Aries currently. Knight of Swords, again, more communication. I don't like this energy though, because this Knight of Swords is kind of like a, an energy of someone who's blaming you. Someone who wants to talk to you, but they want to talk to you in a way that it's like them blaming you or them making it seem like you, you provoked this tower. Like they might have messed things up, but like you provoked it or like you caused it. And I feel like that's how they're going to make it seem, you know? Like I said, they're not going to take responsibility. They're going to make it seem like you... Um, in some way, you were the real culprit here. Anything else about that Knight of Swords spirit? Yeah, it's with the Knight of Cups. This is, this is like mixed signals, you know? This person's gonna come towards you to communicate, but they're just gonna give you mixed signals. These two don't really go together, Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. They're gonna sweet talk you with the Knight of Cups, but like they're gonna insinuate that you caused things to end, you know, or you caused things to get out of control. So it's like they're going to kind of apologize, but not really, you know, kind of. They're going to kind of try to make things right with you, but not really. What's this three of wands about, Spirit? Ooh, four of pentacles. Look at that. Four of pentacles, eight of pentacles, and the star. Tell me about this energy that flipped over here, spirit. Six of wands. Oh, that's you. Okay. King of pentacles and the eight of cups. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Now, now this is your energy here. Okay. So you're not having it. You're not having it. Look at you, Aries, showing up as the king of pentacles with the six of wands. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is definitely you not paying any mind to this person at all. Like, you're in this energy of, like, you're way above this person. Like, you're at a way higher level than this person in maturity. In maturity. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So you're chasing your dreams. That's what you're doing here. You have goals that you want to achieve. You have dreams that you want to conquer. And that's what you're focused on here. Six of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Star. You're all about you. You look fed up, Aries. Look at that. You look really fed up. King of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Like, you're over that. You're over this person. You're done with them. You look like you want new love. Honestly, you look like you're focused on career, but mainly you look like you're focused on career. But I do get a feeling of love, though. So for some of you, I do feel like you are... Um, Wanting new love, wishing for new love, you know, waiting out for a better love, a new love, a better love. You're waiting out for, for that person. And you're walking away from this person, Eight of Cups. I feel like you're doing the right thing, to be honest. Just looking at all of these cards, Aries, because this person is wishy-washy. Wishy-washy. They're playing games. And I feel like they're kind of like looking for loopholes, if you know what I mean. They're looking for loopholes. They're definitely getting, letting their ego and their pride get in the way. This person has a bruised ego with the Three of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like you put your foot down with this person and they didn't like it. Because this person was expecting you to follow. They were expecting you to follow their lead. Right? Because they're showing up as Chariot and they're also showing up as the Strength card. So this is, this is a big leadership energy. This is someone who likes to have a leadership position and they don't like to share that leadership position and they were expecting you to follow them. But you're in this energy of like, uh, no, I'm a leader as well. I don't follow anyone. Just as much as you're a leader, I'm also a leader. I'm an Aries, Aries are leaders. So this person was basically being emotionally manipulative with you, with the Queen of Cups. Except that you're someone who knows how to turn off their emotions, you see, with the Four of Pentacles. So it doesn't really work on you or it doesn't work on you anymore because this shows me that you're someone who's able to turn off your emotions when you need to turn them off. And I feel like that's what you're doing now. You're turning them off with the Eight of Cups. You're walking away. And it's like you're setting your sights on, on a better future. Yeah. You're walking towards a better future. And it's like you're walking towards a better future with a lot of confidence. Like you're very, very confident here that you can make your dreams a reality, you know you can. Because you have the discipline, you have the discipline, you have the stamina, you have the resilience, you know, you're very mature, you're very um, self-sufficient. So it's like, you have no doubt that you can reach your dreams, that you can make your dreams into reality. But this person was holding you back. They were draining you emotionally. But this is you saying no more. You no know more. And this person looks like a chicken with their head, head cut off. With the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. This looks like a chicken with their head cut off. I feel like you... You threw a curveball at this person, you know? That's what it looks like. You threw a curveball. They weren't expecting that. All right, um, Aries, let's look at new love for you because it's obvious that that's what you're 
you know, walking towards or like opening yourself up for. You look like you want new love. Actually, let's see what actions this person will take just to see, you know, what, what you can expect from them. Because this is telling me what actions they desire to take. Not necessarily what they will, what, what they're actually going to do. All right, here we go. Let's see what they're going to do. What actions will this person take towards Aries moving forward? What actions will this person take towards Aries moving forward? see Aries what actions will this person take towards Aries moving forward two of cups wow and the judgment card wow okay and the death card that's interesting so judgment is all about second chances two of cups is a relationship so they do want to um have a second chance with you. Um, they want to have a second chance with you, but we do have the death card here. So let me look at that. Tell me more about this death card, Spirit. Why is the death card here in regards to this person's actions towards Aries moving forward? Why is the death card this person's actions towards Aries moving forward? Oh. Hmm. Four of Cups, and the King of Wands, and the Page of Cups. This doesn't look like action. It just doesn't. This looks like someone who's going to give up. I feel with the Page of Cups, like they are going to attempt they're going to attempt to reconnect with you. But it's it's going to be short-lived. That's why the death card is here. That's why it's here. Because it's, it's going to be short-lived. Their attempt. It's not going to get far. The reason why it's not going to get far is because they're in this Four of Cups energy. Which means that they're not taking responsibility here. You know, they're not owning up. To their mistakes so basically they're gonna have a conversation with you or they're gonna try to have a conversation with you but they're gonna act very casual you know it's gonna be very um, nonchalant and casual just kind of you know trying to kind of sneakily weasel their way back into your life you know in a very um, subtle, sneaky way, if you know what I mean. So that's why the death card is here. I feel like they're gonna, they're quickly going to get shut down. All right. So that's what's gonna be happening. Moving forward, let's look at new love. I think I'm done here. I don't think you need advice. You look like you know what you're doing. You look like you're headed in a really good direction. A lot of success and, you know, attracting a lot of, um, like, uh, fortune, wealth, or abundance. You're achieving. You're going to be achieving a lot of your goals. All right. Let's see, let me use this deck and we'll take a look at new love. Doesn't look like you're connecting with anyone currently. 
looks like you're very focused on yourself. So let's see if anyone's going to show up for you that's new. All right, Spirit, tell me about new love for Aries moving forward. Any new love for Aries, please, moving forward. Ten of Swords is here, okay. Ten of Swords, what does that mean? Any new love for Aries moving forward? Hangman and the Six of Cups. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, you're very focused on your money, your career, your work, your personal um, projects, personal goals. You're very focused on creating your own happiness, creating happiness for yourself on your own. You look like you're embracing, you're embracing being single actually. You look happy. You look happy being single and just kind of not having to worry about, you know, another human and the drama or conflict that they might bring to your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're healing. Okay. Ten of Swords and the Hangman here. You're taking some time off with the Hangman. You're taking, you're taking some time off from love with the Ten of Swords. You have been put, you have been put through a lot. You've suffered a lot with the Ten of Swords, and it looks like with the Hangman, you're excited to take a break. <laughs> you're looking forward to just being on your own and focusing on your stuff and on the things that you want for yourself. And it's like you don't want to be bothered, you know? I feel like that's what your energy is telling me here. Like, don't bother me. Like, nobody bother me. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm trying to, you know, create something here. This could be, like I said, um, financial gain or status, status in career or a promotion, a business, a home. Maybe some of you are buying a home or relocating, you know, stuff of that nature. Tell me more about um, new love for Aries. King of Wands and the Magician and the Six of Pentacles. Ooh, you're attracting someone. Yep, look at that. Magician with the Six of Pentacles. You're attracting a really good relationship towards you. You're manifesting a relationship towards you. It, does, it looks like you're not really aware of it. You seem a little bit oblivious to that. So... Yeah, it looks like Yeah, it looks like your intention wasn't to find love or your intention wasn't to, you know, get into a relationship with anyone. It just kind of comes towards you. Because you focus on yourself. That's that's why you you decided to focus on yourself. You decided to walk away from negative things here in your life that were draining you. And I feel like you kind of took back your power. And that's what's going to um, bring this healthy, balanced relationship towards you. Hmm. It's interesting because I feel like this experience has made you a lot more guarded and a lot more like um, cautious, you know? So when this relationship comes towards you, I feel like you're not going to trust it. Like you're gonna be very guarded towards it, but it is going to be um, a good match for you. Anything um, else about this new love spirit? Tell me, I don't know, any details, please? Any specific details? 
in regards to who this person is or how Aries will know who this person is. Why can I never have a short reading? 30 minutes in already. If you don't mind a long reading, please give me a thumbs up. That would let me know. <laughs> Tell me any details about this new love spirit. How would Aries know who they are? King of Wands. King of Wands. Could be in a fire sign like you. Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Hermit, Knight of Cups. Oh my God, Aries, you're going to block. Look at that. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. There's that happily ever after. Okay, it's telling me about you, how you're going to be. So be careful of this energy, Aries, because we do have the Ten of Cups, which is a happily ever after, and we have the Seven of Wands. Some of you are going to be, you know, blocking this relationship or sabotaging this relationship. Um, they're showing up as the Knight of Cups. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this is someone who's been, like, looking for someone for a while, with the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. This is like a hopeless romantic. This person is a hopeless romantic. They've been rejected a lot in the past. They've been um, cheated on, I, I'm getting here. Cheated on, rejected. Um, they, they just have really bad luck when it comes to love. Not because of anything that's wrong with them because they're coming up as the Ten of Cups. Um, I just feel like this is someone who, unfortunately, is never valued by anyone. But they have a lot of value. They're showing up as the Seven of Pentacles. This is someone who um, wants long term. This is someone who is capable of investing and putting in the hard work to build a relationship. But it looks like they just constantly experience false starts with the Ace of Wands. Hmm. They're very introverted with the Hermit card. They're very introverted. They, they can be very spiritual. I feel like this is someone who's very open-minded also. Um, you know, they believe in everything. You know, they're open to believing in everything. Hmm. Could be a Virgo. I do feel like they're kind of shy and quiet. They're a little shy and they're definitely quiet. I'm definitely getting a strong, quiet energy. Um, I also feel, but I feel like this is a talker, though. I feel like once they get comfortable with you, then they can talk and talk and talk for days, you know? But it takes them a while for them to warm up to people, to get comfortable with people. And I feel like this is someone who's looking for an intellectual connection. That's how they connect to people intellectually. With you, I feel like they're just going to feel intuitively that there's a very intense, you know, emotional connection between you two. Or like there's a soulmate connection between you two. Like they're just going to intuitively feel like, you know, you two are meant to be. Or you two are, yeah, you two are destined. But I do feel like you're going to, like, block them here with the Seven of Wands. Or you're going to push them away because... I don't know why. Why is um, Aries going to push them away with the Seven of Wands spirit? Why the Seven of Wands? Okay, so you're just going to assume they're a player here with the Knight of Wands energy. 
they're not a player Aries. You're just going to automatically like assume that. Yeah, you're just going to automatically kind of assume that Aries. They're not. This is someone who is um who has long-term potential here and someone who's wanting long-term. They are a hopeless romantic though and they have been experiencing a lot of failures in love um, in regards to like, they have a lot of, they keep having a lot of false starts with people, but their heart is open no matter how many times they they get hurt, they still um, hang on to that hope that they'll find the right one. And that's where you come in. <laughs> that's where you come in. Okay. Tell me more about this relationship here between Aries and this person, Spirit. What's going to be happening between these two? Tell me more about their relationship. There might be a distance here, physical distance. Yeah, for some of you, I am getting like a long distance energy. Wow, Aries, you're definitely playing hard to get. You are definitely playing hard to get, but I love how consistent this person is. Like, they're not backing down. You know, I feel like once this person gets like struck, you know, by by Cupid's arrow, when they when they see you or when they meet you, I feel like they're going to be very focused on you and very persistent. And I feel like that's what's going to win you over the consistency. They don't just say things, they they take action. And that's what's going to make you feel comfortable with them. That's what's going to make you feel like you can trust them. Because they're just, they're not someone who just talks to talk, you know. They give you the proof. They give you the evidence. They take action. They back up what they say. This looks good, Aries. You're going to be playing hard to get, but they're going to win you over. So, yeah. They're definitely going to win you over. And that's how they're, they're just going to be so consistent that like you're, you're not going to have any choice but to like accept that this person is legit, you know, because you're going to be fighting it. You're definitely going to be fighting it, but this person's ready for you. <laughs> All right, Aries. So I hope this reading helped you in some way. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.